Hello, Dr. Mayo with BizCrow Media. So, it's 2018, and you'll be surprised that a lot of people still don't have digital marketing strategies. So, we're here to help because it's actually very important if you have a sound digital marketing strategy these days, it helps a whole lot. This is for businesses or brands that are confused, or if you're actually thinking about starting your own business, you know you need a digital strategy, this is gonna help you out. We're gonna touch on a few components that your digital marketing strategy must have. So you have a robust, robust digital marketing plan to go along with. So, first of all, you need to have a marketing strategy. Yes, and you're wondering, well, what is that? A strategy is where we actually look at the business, look at your uh, typical consumers, look at your environment, and analyze how we can market to them. Other than that, you are just flying blindly. Like they say, marketing, without marketing, it's like driving in the dark without your headlamps on. So a strategy is sort of that lamp that gives you that guide for you to proceed um, with knowing where exactly to target. Once you get that marketing strategy, you're going to need a website because at the end of the day, the website is your home. The website is where conversions go to happen. And in so many instances, websites aren't built, we see, to work for you. I call them Lambo Toyota websites. What I mean is the website looks, it's glitz and glamour. It's like a Lambo outside, but a Toyota engine. No, you want a Lambo with a Lambo engine. And so... Your website should be banging and actually working for you, doing some marketing for you. Thirdly, you want a good social media strategy. These days, social media is very important. You can't hide from it. We spend most of our time on social media. So it benefits you if you have a sound social media strategy that involves you posting from different channels, whether Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, um, uh, Snapchat. These days, it's highly, highly <laughs> recommended that your business or your brand or even your personal self has a presence on social media. Third, fourthly, I should say, email marketing. Very, very important. Emails are still the highest converting channel. With social media coming quickly behind is what we see, but they say the money's in the list. And that's because we will see emails, you know, there are posts that my wife posts, she's linked to me, there are posts that she posts on Facebook that I don't see for a whole week based on the optimization. But emails, except they go into spam, we see all the emails. So that's why emails are very, very um, great when it comes to converting and actually staying in touch, you know, having that top of mind strategy um, with, 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 with your clients. Next is great content. I can't stress that enough. Great content. Content is fire, right? All the things that we've said, website, social media, emails, everything that goes in there is content. And without a sound content strategy, you are left wandering out there. I see at times people post blurry pictures on Facebook blurry pictures on social media. It's not a great reflection of who you are because psychologically, from a professional standpoint, I see a blurry picture. Psychologically, I'm going, you don't have your together. You know what I'm saying? Because it should be clean. It should be professional. It represents you. You know, you want your content to reflect who you are from a professional standpoint. So content is very important. Blurry photos or photos that bleed off or, you know, crappy videos, they don't help. They actually make things worse because it's like, oh, that guy's like trying. Even if they don't say it psychologically, that's where it's at. Next one, video. It's 2018. It is 2018. If video is not in your strategy, it's a problem because videos engage huge. Okay, 90% of the clients that I meet when we're talking about content, they tell me they just like to watch videos on the website. They barely get bogged down with the content. And I'm like, wow, that's interesting. Yes, we love videos. So right now, if you don't have a video strategy, you're not putting out videos there, you are not reaching the potential that you should be actually reaching. And then finally, a CRM system. CRM is a customer relationship management system. And this ties into all what we've mentioned. This is how you nurture through marketing 
your clients and your customers. You know, with a good CRM system, it lets you separate those that need particular things. It lets you reach those that need particular things at particular times. It lets you know how to program your content to have a very, very efficient ecosystem with your clients because it's a customer relationship management system. And through there, you can tie all, again, what we've gone through to sort of have it all together. So here's a good, good example. And I'm going to do it as I'm doing this, okay? So you have your marketing strategy. Now you've created your website that's just banging. Well, with that website that's banging, you have a subscribe uh, button there where people subscribe. They get your emails. And when they get your emails, they have the social media icons on there. So they follow you on social media because your emails are clearly saying, follow me on social media. So they see you. They're following you now on social media. And now they are in your list. Now the CRM has to take place, which is now your content goes in there to excite them. Your content goes in there to inspire them. Your content goes in there to shock them and awe them. You know, that's happening. Then you include video in your content and that's how the CRM is going. So as it's all going, you are throwing out things that you do there that people are interested in and at their leisure, at their time, at their convenience, they could take advantage. So if you need a full service marketing strategy, those are the components that you want to consider, you know, so that the wheels are always turning for you. And with marketing, your awareness is always growing. Now, is it possible to do one of these things and get stuff out of it? Yeah. But think about a car, right? So you could put wheels on a car without an engine and push it and it moves. But what makes the car reach the destination or makes the car work the way you want to want it to work is because there's so many moving parts. There's the tires, there's the engines, there's like little plugs that you don't even know exist that are making big, big, big significant differences in that ride, in the way that car operates. And so that's why it's good to have all these components. And that's when you say you have a well-oiled machine. So if you're looking to, to, to start your business or if you're confused about uh, digital marketing, and all what you should be doing, add all these components in there, and then you, 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 you start to see the results.